Hi, it's Kerry. Today my hippopotamus have come back after searching for food. I think they're a bit muddy. I'm going to give them a wash and I'm going to tell you some really interesting facts about hippopotamus. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like hippopotamus. Although the name means river horse, the hippopotamus or hippo more closely resembles the pig. In addition to similar teeth patterns, the two animals belong to the order of artiodactyls, which means even-toed, hoofed mammals. However, the hippopotamus's closest living relatives are not land mammals, but whales and dolphins, with which it shared a common ancestor millions of years ago. That's looking a bit cleaner now. The hippopotamus is nearly hairless and has an enormous mouth with teeth to match. Its bulky barrel shaped body makes it the Earth's third largest land animal after elephants and rhinoceroses. Adult males weigh an average of 1,500 kilograms which is 3,300 pounds. Females weigh slightly less. Despite its size and short stocky legs, a hippo can sprint up to 30 kilometers or 18 miles per hour. Speed, natural aggression and 50 centimeter or 20 inch long canine and incisor teeth that grow and sharpen themselves continuously make hippos one of Africa's most unpredictably dangerous species. They kill more people in Africa each year than any other mammal. Can you tell me how many hippopotamuses in today's video? As a semi-aquatic animal, the hippopotamus spends its days in rivers, lakes and swamps where water and mud keep it cool and cover its skin in vital moisture. Water also supports its weight and the animal can easily trundle or even leap along a leg bottom. I sort of think they hop along at speeds of up to 8 kilometers per hour or 5 miles per hour. However, even though a hippopotamus has webbed feet, it is not a strong swimmer. It cannot even float, so it stays in the shallows, closing its nostrils as it submerges, servicing every 3 to 5 minutes to breathe. Time for some more washing. I'm going to leave this batch to soak for a bit. That made it easier. I let them soak for a couple of minutes while I turn the camera off. And of course you'd be recognizing Beshti from the Lion Guard. Such a great character. This is one of the pygmy hippopotamuses. There's two main species left. The common hippopotamus plus the pygmy. Another lot of soaking when I'm going to think about what I'm going to tell you about next. Hippos feed at dusk, moving inland up to 10 kilometers or 6 miles in search of the short grass that makes up the bulk of their diet. Adults consume as much as 70 kilograms, which is 150 pounds, of grass each night, pulling it up with their lips before crushing it with their large grinding molars. This is a pygmy hippopotamus. It has a narrower mouth and sleeker body that helps it when moving quickly through the dense vegetation in the jungle. They also spend much less time in the water compared to the common hippopotamus and even rest in burrows in the vegetation. Did you know that the plural for hippopotamus can be two things? 
hippopotamuses or hippopotami. The massive canines and incisors are only used in fighting and defence. Hippos yawn when threatened to show these teeth to their best advantage, opening their mouths nearly 180 degrees. Males defend territories by day and it is thought that dung spinning, which is performed mainly by males wagging their tails when defecating, is done partially as a territorial marking activity. This one's going to need a lot of soaking. I think I might give them a bubble bath after as well. Females can breed all year round, but most mating occurs in the dry season. Mating takes place in the water, with the female staying submerged for most of the process. A single calf weighing up to 50 kilos, which is 110 pounds, is born underwater and has to swim or to be helped to the surface for its first breath. Did you know that hippo calls can reach up to 115 decibels as loud as close range thunder? Baby hippopotamuses have sterile intestines and must eat their mother's dung in order to obtain the bacteria they need for digesting grass. Juveniles are vulnerable to attacks by crocodiles, lions and spotted hyenas. The mothers are very protective of their calves. I'll talk and scrub at the same time. When the calves are born, they suckle underwater and often ride on their mother's back if the water is too deep for them. Oh, I missed this one. Lucky they can hold their breath for five minutes. Highly social, hippopotamuses live in groups or pods of 10 to 100 members, usually presided over by a dominant male. Other males are tolerated, provided they are submissive and do what the boss wants. Along with regulating its body temperature in the hot African sun, water keeps a hippopotamus's skin from drying out and cracking. I'm going to remove this and bring them in a nice fresh bubble bath. Both of the two surviving species of hippopotamus lead a semi-aquatic life, spending the day resting in water and emerging at night to forage on land. Their thick skin has only a thin outer layer which rapidly dries out and cracks unless regularly moistened. Both hippopotamus species have large heads, a barrel shaped body and surprisingly short legs. There is however a huge size difference with the grassland grazing common hippopotamus being seven times heavier than the forest foraging pygmy hippo. And here's the bubble bath. Lacking sweat glands, the common hippopotamus relies on water to stay cool. It is able to swim and dive, and the density of its body allows it to walk along a river or lake bed and stay submerged for approximately five minutes at a time. It can float by filling its lungs with air. A hippo's feet are webbed, the nostrils and ears can close underwater and the eyes, ears and nostrils are positioned so that it can see, hear and breathe with just the top of the head emerging above the surface of the water. Heads of up to 40 hippos may spend the day together in water, devoting most of their time to sleeping or resting. At night they leave the water to feed on land for about six hours. Because their weight is often borne by the water, hippos conserve energy and need relatively little food. Young are born and suckled underwater. Here's trouble.
for watching my video. It really helps if you're able to share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.